uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'd like to welcome you all to uh, uh, this station today. This is one of the uh, 78 stations we have in the state of Georgia. And uh, this is my quest station. Uh, the main, the, 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 the first station was installed in Griffin in 1991. So ever since then we've been able to uh, have about 78 stations across Georgia. Uh, the, why do we need a weather station at all? Because we think it is really important for the uh, growers to make some uh, important decisions about uh, the rainfall pattern, the temperature they need to use for management of their crop, especially for instance the uh, soil temperature at the beginning of the season for peanut growers. It's very important if the right temperature is not reached, the, so the right soil temperature is not reached, is, uh, it might delay the uh, planting date. So as we all know that uh, they mentioned a little bit about it yesterday in terms of how important planting date is to a lot of uh, culti uh, peanut cultivars. Uh, the, the a typical station that we have, uh, there are several factors we can, weather parameters that we can look at. Uh, some of them are soil temperature, solar radiation, and we have wind speed. But I'll just quickly go through what we have here at the back, which is like an example of what you will see in most of the uh, uh, AML weather stations we have in Georgia. We can, we can uh, take rec recordings of uh, soil moisture. Uh, uh, different types of soil temperature in terms of uh, the depth into the soil. Then we can look at wind speed, we can look at wind direction, or we can look at relative humidity. All these things are very important in terms of making a uh, management decision at the beginning of the season and when you are actually in the growing season in terms of how the crops are developing and how they can adjust to whatever weather conditions you have uh, in the field. Uh, there are several areas that we can apply weather information, especially uh, in, in the state of Georgia where, you know, we have uh, across states, uh, you have uh, different parts of uh, states that they, they, they have different types of crops. It's, all, it's not only uh, peanut that we're looking at, but we are looking at a lot of crops in general. But peanut is very important to Georgia, so we uh, dedicated a lot of time in terms of uh, what, are the, what are the kind of tools that the growers will need to make all their management decisions at the beginning of the, this season, during the season, and maybe towards the end when they are ready to do their harvesting. Obviously, rain rain rainfall is very important. So here we have some of the tools we've developed. Uh, but uh, I'll quickly mention that the uh, data that we collect from every station is uh, scanned every five seconds. So as uh, at the beginning of the day, the way it's been programmed, we have the central facility in uh, Griffin, Georgia, where is the central control that manages all the, all the stations we have in Georgia. So every 50, every five seconds, all the data are recorded from all our parameters, all the weather variables we are look, the, that we are monitoring. Then it uh, averages them over every 15, 15 minutes. So as we, as the data comes in at a particular point, at uh, the uh, the station in uh, the central station in Griffin, will get in touch with all the weather stations we have all over Georgia to download the data. Then the data will go through what we call the data management process whereby we look at the quality of the data. If we have any outliers, we can deal with it and see whether it's what we are expecting based on the historical weather data we have. If the data is fine, then it will, it will go to another process whereby it will be ready for delivery to the website. So we have a website that is called uh, www.georgiaweather.net. This is where all the tools we are developing to help the growers uh, is available. You can go there and click on whatever you want in terms of what you will need for a typical field, either at the beginning of the season, during the season, or towards the end of the season. Example of what we have there is to monitor rainfall. You can monitor the rainfall right from the beginning to the end of uh, the growing season, but at the same time, you can compare it to what you had last year, so you can know whether maybe this year is a little bit on the negative side or maybe on the positive side, then if you need to make any management adjustment, you can do that adequately. 